Hello and welcome back to Carwale. I'm Bilal and the penultimate month of the year 2022 is here. So in this video, we'll be taking a look at all the upcoming car launches and unveils set for the month of November. So before we begin, here's a little reminder to like, share and subscribe to the Carwale channel. And if you like this video, do share it with those who are looking to buy a car in the upcoming days. With festivities all around, many new cars made their way to the Indian market last month. So before we begin, here's a, a quick rundown at all the launches and unveils that took place in the month of October. The Aston Martin DBX 707 was launched in India in early October. It's the high performance version of the Aston Martin's first and only SUV and is priced at around 4.6 crore X showroom. Mahindra has revamped the XUV300 nameplate with the introduction of the Turbo Sport version. It's powered by a turbocharged version of the 1.2-litre M Stallion engine, uh, which has a segment-best output of 128 bhp and 230 Nm. We have done a detailed video around the car and you can check it out on our channel. Lexus India has started local assembly of the ES300 Edge sedan and became the fourth country in the world to do so. Uh, the Made in India ES300 H is available in two versions, Exquisite and Luxury, and is priced at Rs 59.7 lakh X showroom. Nissan India made a hype last month by showcasing three of their global SUVs in the country. They were the X-Trail, the Qashqai and the Juke. We have done a detailed walk-around video on all three and you can check that video out on our channel as well. BMW India promised no less than 10 special edition M models as part of their 50th anniversary celebration of the M division. So last month, we saw the introduction of two, the M5 and X6 50th Jahare edition. Maruti Suzuki introduced two CNG offerings last month from their premium Nexa stable, the XL6 and Berlino. For all the details on these two models and all the other models discussed before, you can visit our website www.carwale.com. Skoda India has discreetly introduced a special anniversary edition for the Kushak. Slotted just below the style variant, the anniversary edition gets cosmetic changes and is priced from Rs 15.59 lakh X showroom. After the E6 electric MPV, BYD is bringing their second passenger vehicle in the country. It's called the Atto 3 and it's a mid-size electric SUV. When launched in India this month, we expect the Atto 3 to carry a price tag between 25 to 30 lakh rupees. If you want a detailed walk around video of the Atto 3, my colleague Venkat has done an extensive one and you can check it out on our channel. Also, let us know what you think of the BYD Atto 3 in the comment section below. The big news coming from Jeep India stable is that the Jeep Grand Cherokee will be locally assembled in India. Set to be launched in the country on 11th November, the Grand Cherokee will become the fourth India-made Jeep after the Compass, the Meridian and the Wrangler. Introduced globally last year, the fifth gen Grand Cherokee is available in two-row and three-row long wheelbase configurations. It carries over the design language which was set by the Compass and was later seen on the India spec Meridian as well. The new Grand Cherokee also shares its styling with much larger and more expensive Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer models. Even the cabin of the Grand Cherokee looks familiar as it shares much of its design and elements with the Meridian and the Compass. Internationally, the Jeep Grand Cherokee is powered by a 3.6-litre Pentastar V6 and there's also a 5.7-litre V8. But here in India, we'll get a more modest power train, which would most probably be the 2-liter turbocharged engine from the Wrangler. This engine puts out close to 270 bhp and 400 newton meter in the Wrangler. But we expect slight changes to these figures in the Grand Cherokee. It will also get all-wheel drive configuration with the usual select terrain system offering terrain modes like sport, rock, snow, mud and sand. And since this is a Jeep, the India spec Grand Cherokee will be equally good where the road ceases to exist. In fact, we can also see an off-road focused Trailhawk version sometime in the future. With an expected price range of around 90 lakh rupees X showroom, 
the Jeep Grand Cherokee will become an American alternative to the likes of the Range Rover Velar, the BMW X5, the XC90 from Volvo or the Audi Q7. Mercedes-Benz is expanding its EQ electric sub-brand left, right and center. Just last month, the EQS, the flagship offering from the EQ, has started local assembly in, here in India at the Mercedes-Benz India Pune facility, making it only the third country after the Germany and Thailand to do so. Now, after the EQS and the EQC, the third offering from the EQ brand would be the EQB. As Mercedes-Benz naming scheme goes, the EQB is positioned below the EQC and is the electric equivalent of the GLB sold in the international markets. It is available in 5-seater and 7-seater configurations as well. Appearance-wise, it carries over the EQ family design wrapped around the GLB body style. So it gets an upright nose, a boxy C-pillar, distinct EQ grille, the aero wheels and the LED lighting signature for both headlamps and tail lamps. It also has a coefficient of friction of just 0.28, which is quite impressive for a boxy SUV. On the inside, it has a typical Mercedes-Benz layout with a wide floating screen dominating the dashboard integrated with the MBUX system. In contrast to the other EQ models, the EQB has a slightly robust appeal to it both inside and out. In the Chinese and European markets, the EQB is available in three variants, 250, 300 formatic and 350 formatic. While the 250 produces around 188 bhp and close to 400 newton meter, the 300 formatic is good enough for 225 bhp. The range topping 350 formatic has an output of close to 290 bhp and 520 newton meter. And we expect all three to be offered here in India. Then talking about the range, the 250 has a WLTP certified range of up to 472 kilometers, while the all-wheel drive 300 and 350 can go 422 kilometers between charges. Mercedes-Benz India tends to launch a couple of models before the turn of the calendar. And since the December is reserved for special edition models, we expect the EQB to be launched in the month of November, and it's expected to carry a price of around 60 to 70 lakh rupees ex showroom. When we drove the new gen force Gurkha exactly a year ago, we were told about the imminent arrival of the 5 door version as well. Now, after almost a year, uh, the 5 door longer wheelbase version of the Gurkha is expected to be launched in the month of November. The production ready model spotted at the dealership was wearing a different alloy wheel design compared to the standard Gurkha. For more details and spied images, you can visit our website www.carwale.com. The powertrain for the longer wheelbase Gurkha would be the similar 2.6-litre Mercedes-derived turbo diesel which would put around 90 bhp and 250 Nm. Uh, like the standard Gurkha, it will also get the off-road hardware like the lock-in differential on both the axles and uh, low-range gearbox as well. The expected launch price of the Gurkha 5-door could be north of around 15 lakh rupees. And when launched in the country, it would offer a more practical package than the standard Gurkha in this newfound uh, 4x4 lifestyle category. So those were all the upcoming launches set for November. Now let's move on to take a look at the unveils uh, of the cars that will go on sale either at the end of this year or early next year. The Toyota Innova Cresta will soon be discontinued and taking its place would be the upcoming Innova High Cross. It would first make its global premiere in Indonesia and is expected to come with a hybrid powertrain. It would also adopt a new design language, plus the Innova High Cross will also get newer features like a monocoque chassis, a front-wheel drive layout and a panoramic sunroof apart from many new features. Moreover, we don't expect to see a diesel engine powertrain with the new Innova High Cross. The India debut for the Innova High Cross is expected sometime next year. Not many of you would be aware of the Praveg Dynamics, a Bangalore-based EV startup. But the people at Praveg are busy developing their second passenger electric vehicle uh, and it will break cover on 25th November as an electric SUV. 
The Praveg Extinction Mark 1 electric sedan will have a heavy influence on the styling of the electric SUV. Likely to be called belligerence, the electric SUV is expected to offer an electric range of over 500 km with a top speed of 200 km per hour. It will also be compatible with fast charging options. As mentioned on their website, the belligerence will be capable of charging from 0 to 80 percent in just 30 minutes. Moreover, 0 to 100 km per hour will be achievable in just 4.3 seconds. Other details like battery pack capacity and power output are not disclosed yet. What are your thoughts on this India Red electric car maker and its all new electric SUV? Do let us know your opinion in the comment section below. That's all the launches and unveils set for the month of November. Which of these cars are you awaiting the most? We would love to know your opinion. And if you want any other details about these cars or any other cars, you can visit our website www.carwallet.com. And if you have any other queries, you can reach out to us on any of our social media platforms. This is Bilal signing off. Until next time.